tell me about yourself. I'm BG Calista. I come from uh, Montreal. I've been to Medicine Hat since uh, 1997. And I'm a mother of two beautiful boys, Vincent and Simone. And I have one here and I have one that is in Montreal. And so, yeah, I've been doing hair since I was 16 and I love what I do. It's a passion of mine. And then I've done lots of stuff like uh, around uh, the cosmetic and fashion shows. And I even did hair in a movie that was years ago. And then, um, yeah, it's been very interesting and I meet a lot of different people and you just get to know your clients and they become friends. And I like to make people feel good about themselves because it makes me feel good too. And uh, so I wouldn't change anything really in, in my life. I'm happy to be here and do what I do. What are you most proud of? Well, my children. That would be my biggest accomplishment. Um, they're my world. And my oldest one, like I was saying previously, he's in Montreal. He has two children, a little boy and a little girl. So, of course, I'm very proud of them, too. To be a grandmother is, is awesome. And then you get to play with them and you get to send them home. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, it's amazing. Um, that would be my two things that I'm super proud of. And also my career because I have uh, worked hard to be where I am and that I am proud of that. I'm proud of myself for where I'm at. What's your favorite Hatter experience and why? Well, I'd say my, my best experience. I mean, I have a few. Uh, I would say the first one would be when I first moved here 23 years ago. It was Jul July 21st. 1997, and uh, I didn't speak English very well. I could get by, but I couldn't really speak the language very well. But I always liked to travel, so by the age of 18, I was traveling at least once a year, so I've learned a little bit of the language, but you know, when you get in a conversation with people, I had a tough time. I'd say the first year was hard, but the people here were so good to me. So for me, it is, one of the best experience to move from a different city. It's almost like we're in the same, um, we're in Canada in the same country, but it's so different. So for me, it was really, really, really challenging, but I have to say it made me, it made me, it made, it made it so easy to have all the people in medicine not helping me out with the, the language and being patient with me and understanding. So I'd say that was probably my best experience. And then um, I love the Esplanade. For me, I used to go to concert, to go to shows. And at least when we got that, you know, it's the perfect size, not too big, not too small. I love everything about the Esplanade. So I'd say that's uh, every time I go, it's always a good experience. So there's a lot of uh, beautiful places to go in town and the trails and stuff. And I, every time I go, it's always fun. And yeah, so I've got lots of good experiences. What is the question you get asked most often? Of course, being in my business, it would be, BG, can I get an appointment? <laughs> that would be my, my most <laughs> question that I've asked. What's the question you wish you would get asked? Well in the challenging time that we are living through, I would say it's BG, how can we make the world a better place to be? It's probably one of my questions that I'd like to be asked because life is so quick. We, you know, it's go, 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 go. We forget about the basics and a lot of people are suffering out there. And I'm a very sensitive person. I can feel emotions, I can feel people. And I'd say that would be one of the questions if we could all get together and help each other. That would be the question I'd like to be asked more often. How can we make it a better world? 
And what's your message to the world? Well, it's very easy. Be kind. Just practice kindness, love, smiling at people. It doesn't cost anything. Because I know like when you questioning yourself about making it a better world, it's sometimes you feel lonely because you know that if you're the only one trying to do something, it's you feel like it might not go very far. But I know that by me personally trying to practice kindness, I might not change the whole world, but I will change. I can change a person world or a person journey. And for me, it's, it's, it's the most important thing. It's kindness and be understanding and spreading the love.